What's up guys, Mitch here. And today we're gonna to be giving you a full rundown on our range of shock absorbers to help you with selecting the next shock absorbers to suit your vehicle best. Today we're gonna to go back to basics on shock absorbers to help those people that have just joined the four-wheel drive industry. A little bit of info to help them select shocks that they need, but it's not your first rodeo. Check out the timestamps on the screen now, and jump forward, let's get into it. In its simplest form, a shock absorber is just a hydraulic cylinder, but instead of having a hydraulic motor to control that flow of oil, it is done with nitrogen pressure, with pistons and shims that can be machined in all sorts of different ways and shim sacks installed to control that flow of oil in all different manners. Shocks are a key component of any vehicle suspension system and can vastly affect the vehicle's dynamics on and off the road without the correct shock absorbers installed. With that bit of info, let's check out each shock. So let's start with the twin tube nitro gas shock. So this central tube has your piston in it, which is completely full of oil, and your outer tube has oil in it as well as a low pressure nitrogen. So this is a style of shock you're gonna get in most vehicles from factory. So if you're lifting the car up, you're gonna to wanna to run a longer shock, so it's sitting at its optimum travel height at ride height to make sure you're not bottoming the shock out or topping it out through its range of motion just on the street. Secondly, these shocks do have a larger oil capacity compared to factory, so you're gonna have that shock stay cooler for a lot longer as well. Nitro gas shocks are an awesomely affordable shock, especially if you're chasing some big flex in your patrols or cruisers. We offer these up to a 13 inch travel shock, so you can get some awesome flex out of your car. The unfortunate letdown of these is by design. You plan on getting into touring and that sort of driving where you're spending a lot of time on corrugated roads. This design being a twin tube and having no physical barrier between that oil and nitrogen can cause these two to mix, thinning out the oil, aerating the oil and stopping it from doing its job of passing through your shims and makes it a lot of a rougher ride and you can get shock fade where the shocks really start to heat up and the ride control just isn't there. The thing to keep in mind when it comes to a nitro gas shock, they must be mounted with the shaft facing upwards. This is due to having a foot valve down the bottom here and that foot valve must be submersed in oil all the time. Without it being submersed in oil, it's gonna dry out, virtually close up and that way that's gonna wear out and your shocks are gonna be stuffed, and that's a complete void of warranty. Our shocks even come with a sticker saying up on them to make sure they're fitted the correct way. And next step up from nitro gas is our IFP monotube shocks. IFP is internal floating piston. Now that piston is designed to keep a physical barrier between the oil and nitrogen to stop that oil from aerating, making sure these shocks stay a lot cooler on corrugated roads for a longer period of time. Another awesome fact about our superior IFP monotubes is that they are fully serviceable. So in a few years and these are getting tired, you can send them back some new oil, seals and gas, and they're like new again, ready to hit the road. They're fully tunable, so the ride characteristics that these shocks offer can be changed. Our shock technicians have a whole bunch of tunes, and as well, we can chat with you as to what you want to achieve from these shocks and totally change how they handle in the vehicle. From our IFP monotubes, where we step up into our remote reservoir range. Now this here is our 2.0 remote reservoir. Whilst being a very similar design to that IFP monotube, we obviously move the IFP out here into the reservoir to give us a much larger oil capacity to help keep this shock cool. Now 2.0 means two inch, so it's got a two inch bore diameter, which is also the same as our IFPs. The key component of why these shocks stay so cool is our billet reservoir. Now this gives us a huge surface area to radiate heat from, as well as the shock body, and having that much larger oil capacity, it takes a lot longer to heat up. Another awesome feature of our remote reservoir shocks is they run an eight stage compression adjuster. Now this dial can be twisted from setting one to eight. It's just a detent spring that resets. It doesn't continue to wind compression in um, and essentially block this off completely. That allows you to choose how your vehicle rides. Obviously every person is gonna choose a different ride characteristic that they like in their vehicle. And that's why we offer an adjustable shock so you can tune it to how you like it. Whilst offering that great performance on corrugated roads, we also offer these in some massive open and close lengths. So if you're chasing big flex as well as great performance, these are gonna be the shocks for you. And now again, these shocks are fully rebuildable and tunable. So even if those eight stages of compression aren't quite right to get that ride how you like it, we can pull these shocks apart, put a new shim stack in them and get them riding exactly how you like it too. 
From the 2.0s, we step up to the big boys, the 2.5s. Now these have a massive oil capacity, having that two and a half inch internal diameter, but as well offer a humongous piston surface area. And what that allows you to do is transfer more oil with less movement of the shock absorber, making it a much comfier ride. These shocks are designed specifically for cars having big loads and big GVMs when you plan on traveling long periods of time on rough surfaces. These are also a eight stage compression adjuster, but something we've added in to the 2.5 is a 16 stage rebound adjuster, giving you a massive range of adjustment to fully tune these shocks into how you like them to ride, control those big heavy spring rates and all sorts of stuff. So these are a much higher performing shock 22 millimeter shaft. These are the biggest batter shocks we make, which are also available in our ECDS range, meaning they're electronically adjusted from the comfort of your driver's seat. And just like our 2.0s and the IFP monotube, these are fully rebuildable and tunable, so we can really set them up as to how you like it and to suit your specific needs. One thing to keep in mind when looking at any of our monotube shock absorbers is to leave the gas presses as they are, unless you're obviously doing like a full rebuild or something like that on the shocks, as changing this gas pressure can drastically change the ride quality of the shock absorber, as well as cause damage if you let too much out and go for a big drive. It can damage those shims, causing them to snap and all sorts of stuff. So just leave that gas pressure as it is. Now you've got the basics on shocks, you can jump over to superiorengineering.com.au, use our rego search feature, and check out the full range of shocks that we have for your vehicle, and select the best shock to suit your needs.